Hello friends, how are you guys doing? Rainbow here with another Nerve Mod video. Today we'll be talking about another Hammershot mod. And you guys might remember, yeah, last year I made the other IO LS19 for a good friend of mine. And someone from the German uh, Blasted Forum reached out to me this year saying, look, could you do a similar build for me? But I don't just, I don't just want one hammer shot, I want two. I want one like the other IO with ice colors and I want a fire one as well. And I'm like, yes, I could definitely do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. And that commission was also the inspiration for the dual stripes, the Ahi and Tiho built that you might've seen, if not a uh, video on the channel. So yeah, this is the video about the first part of this commission. It's the ice hammer shot. It's ice, called ice, LS36 and yeah, it's the same blue, white, silver, awesome Norris. There we go. Just giving you guys a brief overview. So we're rocking internally is the orange mop work kit for the full metal trigger and a drum. And then we're going from like all acrylics, going from white over the blues to the black. And then the other way on the other side. There you go. Get some details, get some glitter. Now let's talk about the kit first because that's quicker. This is the first time that I've built a mod with the orange mod work kit. And I must say I like the kit. Performance wise now, they uh, I think it's pretty much on par with the Blaster Pass kit. So I had my other hammer shot and just sort of shot them side by side and didn't feel much of a difference there. But I must say in full disclosure and all honesty that this kit wasn't just a drop in. Um, I don't know if, if it was that kit in particular that just you know, wasn't manufactured well, but um, it didn't quite fit. As in, like the spacing of the metal triggers wasn't quite done well. So in the back here, well, on the inside, this goes around a pin. Um, the space wasn't quite big enough, so this didn't go all the way back. So this didn't catch. Um, so I had to file out some of the metal here, and then the trigger sort of started catching on the side of the plastic here. So I had to file down some of the trigger bit there. And also the drum kind of didn't rotate freely because it got caught on the shell of the hammer shot here. And so I thought, okay, it's a paint. It's a paint issue because there's layers of paint on it. So I scraped the paint off, um, but it was still, it still got caught on here. So I had to uh, sand down a bit of the blaster here and here. So this can now rotate freely. And um, as I said, first time using this kit, I don't know if that's a known issue about this kit or if it's just been like, one of them, you know, one out of a hundred that happened to be this way. All right, now off to the paint job. Uh, again, we're talking about this watery acrylic, and yes, this time I have made a video of me doing this. So it's gonna be a tutorial slash time-lapse sort of thing on how this is done. This is gonna be posted in about a week's time, so stay tuned for that. And so we're gonna go, it's like, it's it's um, a primer, then automotive silver, and then a base coat of the major colors, so white, light blue, dark blue, black. And then working over the top of that with watery acrylic mix, going from white over the blue shades all the way into the black over here. And the same thing obviously on the other side. They're not mirrored, so like this blue line is over here and over there. It's roughly the same, but not. it, it wasn't intended to be the same. And then down there, it's the same. There we go. Um, then next step was all the detailing. First off, we did a blue shading of the grip. And yes, it's really hard to see. That's not black. It's actually really dark blue and a lighter blue and an even lighter blue. And then some blue shade, um, some blue ink to get that look. And um, all hand painted. I've documented that on pictures, so step by step, so you can see. And then he wanted, the client wanted ice crystals on it because ice is the name. And there you go, that got two big ones on either side, this one there and this one there. It's got a small one here, it's got a small one up there, it's got a small one down here and a small one there. And all these details, all these crystals are hand painted with like a teeny tiny little brush. And so, yep, it was a lot of work, it was fun. But people always ask me, like, how do you do these details? Like, yes, I do actually hand paint them with little, little, little brushes. And then over the top of that was a little bit of silver glitter. I don't know if it does show off here. Like, I can't, I can little, yeah, see it slightly on the camera. But it has a little bit of a silver glitter to give it more of an icy look. And then it is covered with several layers of clear coat to make it 
um, robust and actually playable and you don't have to worry, hopefully you don't have to worry about the paint job. Yeah, so that's basically it. So the name is Ice LS33 and as you've seen, or as you haven't seen, there is no number on the blaster. That's because the client didn't want the numbers and things on the blaster, but he still wanted the blaster to have a number and a name, therefore that's the name and the number, and it's in my system, and now you guys know as well. So this is it. This is the first half of this commission. Once the second one is done, there's going to be another video. I'm going to link it somewhere. And yeah, stay tuned for that. And as I said, tutorial and stuff on there. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, leave a like and a sub and all that thing. Tell me in the comments what you think about this build. And yeah, if you want me to build you anything like that, the email for commission requests is in the description as well. Same, so is my Instagram and my website. And as always, my Patreon. Like, it will mean the world to me if you go check out my Patreon. And shout out to my now three patrons. You guys are amazing. And yeah, every little bit helps. And it's really, really cool because it gets keeps me going. Thanks for that. And yeah, other than that, nothing much more to say. Love and sunshine. And I shall see you on Earth Battlefield.